Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to turn off Windows Update permanently and how to disable Windows 10 automatic updates. Many people, they have been messaging me, texting me that they are trying to disable the Windows Update, but unfortunately, it doesn't work or probably it just get disabled, but after some time, it get enabled again. So I'm coming here with four solution that you need to apply and if you do not skip any part, watch the entire video. I'm very sure that your problem will be fixed and Windows 10 update will be permanently disabled. And if this works for you guys, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video and still if you have any doubt, question, then let me know in the comment section. So let's get started. First, you have to disable Windows update from group policy editor. So on your Windows 10 search box, type GP edit. And from the suggestion, choose edit group policy. The local group policy editor will be up. Here you need to click on administrative templates under the computer configuration. Double click on it. Then you have to look for Windows components. Double click on it. And then look for Windows update. At the bottom, you will find Windows update. Double click on it. And now from the right hand side, you have to look for configure automatic update. Double click on it. Another box will be coming up. You have to choose disabled here. Then click on apply and then click on OK. Once you are done, close it. Now on your Windows search type services. And from the suggestion, choose services app. The services box will be up. Here you have to look for Windows Update Service. So keep scrolling down until you find Windows Update. Double click on it. Then it says Startup Type to Automatic. You have to click on the drop down. Choose Disabled. Then click on Stop. Once done, click on Apply. Now from the top end menu, click on Recovery. And in the first failure, click on the drop down and select to take no action and reset fail counter after one day, choose it to triple nine. Once done, click on apply and then click on OK. Now you can close this as well. Now we have to make some changes from the registry. So just on the search box type REGEDIT, reg edit, then choose registry editor app. Registry editor will now be up. And here you have to look for HK local machine, double click on it. Then double click on software and then look for policies double click on policies and then double click on microsoft and then look for windows now right click on the windows go up to new and choose key now you have to name this key as windows where w will be in capital then no space and type update where u will be in capital Hit enter. Now again make a right click on Windows Update. Go up to New and choose Key. And this key you have to name as AU. That will be for automatic updates. Once you are done, on the right hand side make a right click, go up to New and choose Door 32 bit value. Now here you have to name this as No Auto Update. Just write as I have written over here, no N will be capital, then no space, A will be in capital, auto, no space, U will be in capital, update. Now double click on it and by default this value data will be to zero, you have to make it one. Now click on OK and now you can close it. Alright, now click on the search box and type here task scheduler. And from the suggestion, choose Task Scheduler app. Now here, double click on Task Scheduler library. Then click on Microsoft. Then double click on Windows. And then look for Windows Update. So keep scrolling down until you find Windows Update. Double click on it. And then here on the right side, you will find Scheduled Start. Just make select it by making a single click. Then right click on it and choose disable once disable you can close it 
Now after this also make sure that you do not have Windows 10 Assistant installed on your computer. So click on your search box, type here appwiz.cpl, then hit enter. And now here you have to look for Windows 10 Assistant because that sometimes makes some problem and enable the automatic update again. So if you have Windows 10 automatic uh, assistant or something related to that, then you have to uninstall it. So look in this list where all the program has been installed. And if you find something like Windows 10 assistant, then you need to uninstall it. Now for the people who are using Windows 10 Home Edition, they probably won't find all the steps in the group policy editor. So what they have to do, I will be sharing a link in the description. Open your browser and paste that link. And as soon as you paste it, you will see that the file will be downloaded. And once downloaded, you have to open it by right click on it, show in folder, right click on the name and then choose extract extract all then you can change the location wherever you want to send then click on extract and then what you have to do you will be seeing here gp edit enabler just right click on it and choose run as administrator and after that it says press any key to continue you can press any key and once it's been done then you can easily access your group policy editor features so that's all guys for today Hopefully after following all these steps, your problem will be fixed. And if it gets fixed, then please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video. And still, if you have any question or any doubt, any problem, then let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.